Brockton and a race to rescue a bus driver who was trapped and badly hurt following a crash. Police say that bus went off the road, crashed into a tree as well. Yeah, and that driver was badly injured. Two passengers on board, they were able to get out. The driver, though, pinned behind the steering wheel. WBZ's Bill Shields is live in Brockton now with more on the crash and the rescue. Bill? The rescue was quite the effort, and that bus was coming down East Street here this morning. It hit, that's a new fire hydrant right there. It, it went over a fire hydrant, hit a tree. Because of that impact, it pinned the driver in the front of the bus, and it was really bad. It took 90 minutes to get her out. A lot of fours off. We have a bad bus off the road. The bus crashed into a tree, demolishing the front end and pinning the driver inside. And because of a severe leg injury, it took 90 minutes to get her out. We don't know what happened. She had hit the hydrant. And it was, you know, guys when they got her in. And then she was just uh, up against that tree right there. Celestino Marino jumped out of her car and tried to help. Well, then I went inside the, the bus, then she was um, stuck with the wheel on her belly. I had to turn it to put the, the chair back, so to, but her feet they were stuck like on the, on the bottom. With the help of a massive tow truck, firefighters were able to get the driver out. Today, there were only two passengers on the bus that crashed. They weren't badly hurt, but the driver was, and nearby residents tried to help. She was just screaming out the top of her lungs in pain because, you know, you stuck it, you can't do nothing. And she out in the cold, so she's trying to get some help, but we weren't trying to hurt her. And ironically, Brockton firefighters went through training for just such a scenario last September. They had a big bus there and the same wrecker lifting the bus up so that they could learn how to extricate someone. They told me today that that training paid off. As for this driver, she is still in Boston. She was med flighted there. Reporting live from Brockton, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.